Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this pretty fuzzy logo. It, it might even trace, but, and then I, I match the colors and I'm gonna show you how to do that too. I don't know. His main concern was this split. So, and he kind of had some ideas how to draw it. When I draw something like this, I'm trying to make things uniform. So I'm gonna draw a, a line and I'm gonna make it one inch thick. Well, I'm gonna make it longer now. But I want the one inch is like, kind of like key. It could be a half inch, it could be two inches, but you want something you can remember, so one inch. Then I'm gonna take a, let me take a two point line, holding down the control, start moving and then holding down the control button to get a perfect uh, perpendicular line and have it snap to that. Cause I need a, a space to go to here. So I'm just going to take a three point curve line and I could put, you know what, let's just, I didn't do it and it worked out. So I'm just not going to do it. I could put it on top of there and try to match it a little bit better, but I'm going to go from about the middle downwardly with the three point curve line. Then I'm going to hold down the control button. And this is, this would help, you know, if you bring your other one over, because we're going to have to move that line anyway. But we're pretty close to the distance. So now we're, what, what my key is on how to do this, I'm going to turn this into a one inch line. And then I'm going to go to object, turn the outline or convert the outline to an object. And then I'm going to left click, right click. Now to get this sharp transition, I'm just going to move the whole thing like to there. Now this is going to stop my line and I'm not, it's a little bit curved in, but he, I mean, he, his main concern was his split. So I'm going to use the smart fill tool and I'm going to use blue. Well, first of all, I need to take and use the virtual segment delete key to delete this and this. And I'm going to take my smart fill tool and fill that in. Now I'm going to nudge it over. I think we're pretty good. And then I want to left click, right click. And I'm going to control D to make a duplicate. I'm going to mirror it. Now we need to, I mean, he can, he can set it on top of there, but I'm going to make the nudge factor like a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to move that one over till I think it's about right. Now what we want, let's move this thing out of the way because it's going to be in our way. I am going to take this line. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete through here. Now there's three objects that I'm going to fill in. There's one of them. We'll set my nudge factor back to eight inches or let's go 10. Move it over. Smart fill, get the bottom, move it over. Okay, we don't have a space yet, but here's kind of the key. I'm gonna left click, right click. I don't, I didn't measure the space. I just went with a quarter of an inch. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this original and I hit the plus key and move it over a quarter of an inch. Now I'm gonna take the original, hit the plus key and move it left quarter of an inch. And then I'm gonna smart fill that. I need to change my nudge factor back the 10 or anything, take the smart fill tool, fill that in. Now we need to delete these other, the outer one and the inner one. Then we get our normal middle one, our original and voila. Now I might be a little bit skinny comparison. Yeah, I'm a little bit narrow, but he was, his main concern was the, um, and that probably didn't do a good job. Now, how I got that color, I am going to group this. Well, I don't have to group it together. Uh, this is the original. I don't know that he needed that color, but I'm going to show him how you could do that color. I'm going to get the smart fill tool. I'm going to get the eyedropper and I'm going to click on that green and put it there, there, and there. Now get the smart fill tools. Eyedropper, get the, well, I need to make a box. 
and let's take the rectangle tool and make a box and fill it in with any color. Go ahead and go to object order back a page. And now I'm going to get the smart fill tool, get the eyedropper and get that color and put it in there. That's pretty, see how the smart fill didn't take up that spot because I had that over there, but that's pretty, well, the colors are dead on. I think my graphic is pretty close. And if you had to have this exact, and it all, one thing, it all depends on how big this is on the logo. If it's minute, nobody's going to tell the difference. You could set them on top of each other and manipulate them. You could actually do that when you're drawing it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.